Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog and today I'm not doing a book review but I am going to be doing a review of websites and these are great websites that are free to use and they use Creative Commons licensing and they're great for book trailers or digital projects. I actually created a and curated a list in Destiny Discover Collections and so if you go there you can not only see these sites but so many others and if you've never used collections before you should try it because you can curate things for your campus, for your district, and for the world. And don't worry, if you don't have Destiny Discover, that's okay. The link below still works, so I hope you can check out the websites that I really like that I'm going to screencast and review, as well as so many more in there. So I hope you enjoy it, and let's get ready for the screencast. So when you start to look for the book trailer upgrade collections, if you are in Destiny Collections, you need to click on View Collections. You can either type in my name or type in Book Trailer Upgrades and it should take you there. Because I'm already logged in as myself, I'm going to go ahead and click on my private where it's housed and then go to Book Trailer Toolbox Upgrade. So there are seven different things in here that you can use. And the first one that I want to look at are images. So if I click on the one with the lemons, it's going to take me to Creative Commons Images. There are many different websites that you can go to within this collections that are Creative Commons friendly that you and students can use. For the elementary school, I would definitely stick with photosforclass.com. And let me open it and show you how this works. Very easy. So what you can do is you can type in a word of something that you're looking for and hit find photos and all the Creative Commons images that of that particular search is going to show up. If you want to use it, you just hit the download button and it will download the picture and if you look at the bottom it already has the attribution even though it isn't required but it is uh, there is an attribution for that so photos for class would be great for the elementary school for the secondary school you can use most of these but the one I do like is Pixabay and again you can type in I'm gonna type in fall oh fall leaves and do not click on any of these Shutterstock. If you go down, here are some Creative Commons images. If I want this, I just click on it. It's a free download. Um, and then I would definitely download as high of a resolution as you can for the pixels when you enter it into whatever um, tool that you're using. So Pexels is another one of my favorites. Of course, another one that I've been using for quite a while is Morgue File. And these have images that you can use as well. You do not need to join in. You can just search for something. So I'm going to search for snowflakes. And again, these are, you do not need to attribute them, but if you do, that would be great. You just hit the download and it will download that particular picture. <clears throat> okay, I just want to open this. And there it is for you to use. So those are my recommendations for free photos. Music plays a very important role in book trailers or digital projects and here I have with the music page I have Creative Commons websites for music where you can download and use them and I'm going to show you two of my favorites of course. But right here you have all of these different pieces of music that you can use and if you look at the times they're really nice chunks of time. You can look at genres and filter by genre or by mood if you choose that instead. And then the instruments, you can also do that if you're looking for a particular type of instrument. So just really good stuff. Another thing that you can use are sound effects at the top. So you can browse for sound effects here too. So both, dip, both audio libraries are great to use, especially with digital projects. Now the other one that I like quite a bit and I have been using for a long time is Purple Planet Music. 
This is royalty-free music that you can use for educational purposes, including book writers or digital projects. You do have to add the title of the song by purpleplanet.com in the attribution. So what you can do here is you can use their free music. Okay, I got it. And then down here, you can look at all the different moods and choose one. There's 30 minutes of relaxation also, but the if I wanted something that was seasonal, I can click on that and it will take me to all the music that is seasonal. So below are the different seasonal ones that you can download and use. And again, they have a nice good chunk of time. What I like about this one is that they do have a beats per minute. So if you're trying to align your images as they, as they move through with the beat of the music, you always know that this is a higher beat, this is a slower beat, and that's always nice to use too. You can preview the music before you download it, and that's always a nice feature. I think one thing that a lot of people overlook is embedding video into a book trailer or digital project. It just makes it more fluid and just runs better. So I'm going to show you some websites that you can use when it comes to videos. And there's the video link right here with the film clips. So if I click on this one, it's going to open to not as many as you see in the other collections, but there are four of them, and you can use any one of these. I'm going to click on Pexels right here, and all you have to do is search for something. So I'm going to search for snow again. And, with, and just hover over one, and there you go. It, it gives you a video of what it looks like. If I want to download it, you hit the play button, and then you hit the free download, and it so even better. So a book trailer or within a digital project. So you do have four options for that. So I really hope that you enjoyed these reviews. So now it's your turn to go out and start creating. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.